Okay, this video is going to be about uh, adjusting a Fortuna skiving machine. And all skiving machines are very similar in the fact that they have a bell knife and the similar sort of adjustments. Um, when we talk about skiving, skiving is taking a piece of leather, this is the top grain side and this is the flesh side, and is removing a certain amount of leather just barely off of the edge so that you can turn it back on itself and it will be the same thickness all the way across. It gives you a nice finished edge. You can also use the machine to um, run it through several times on both sides and you could then use it to split soft leather. So this is for uh, only for doing um, chrome tan leathers. So first we're going to identify the parts that you see here on the front side. I've removed the uh, safety cover here from the bell knife. So this is the actual knife that does the cutting and it's a round bell knife. This set of controls here it control is for the um, stone feed wheel under under the machine here that actually feeds the material through and the knob on the bottom adjusts the angle and the knob on the top adjusts the tension on the spring. Now the most important thing in adjusting this type of a machine is to get everything set up to what we're going to call zero. So if you have any problems later you can always come back to this position and start from here to go forward to readjust the machine because the amount of adjustment is infinite depending on the type of leather you're trying to uh, put an edge on or to split or to skive or uh, the thickness of the leather. So we're going to start here on the very front. So this is the bell knife which uh, turns when it's under power. Some of them turn all the time and some turn only when you step on the pedal on the motor. Um, this knob moves the sharpening grinding stone underneath which puts the uh, be uh, sharpening stone to this edge and creates keeps that knife sharp all the time. This knob moves the bell knife this direction and so it moves closer and further away from the feed wheel depending on the thickness of leather. Again, you'll have to adjust this for whatever you're doing in your own uh, in your own world. So I'm going to turn this machine on now. We're going to show you how the these uh, controls on the front work. Okay, so I'm now stepping on the machine, and you can see those little uh, those little sparks is because the wheel was too close to the feed wheel. So now I've moved it away so it's not touching the feed wheel. And now I'm going to uh, operate the sharpening stone underneath. But you can see the sparks flying. That's because the sharpening stone is now rubbing up against uh, the bell knife on the edge. Okay, other controls here on the front would be the uh, tension knob for the presser foot, and this is the presser foot, and this is the knob. This lever brings the presser foot up and down. Now the idea is to adjust this so that when you bring the presser foot down on the work and you step on the pedal, it makes a nice even sky just like this. Okay. So here we are now on the top of the machine and as you turn this knob clockwise or counterclockwise it changes the pressure on the presser foot here which will bring the pressure down on the work to cause it to ride on top of the feed roller and make sure that it feeds it under the bell knife. This uh, arm raises and lowers the presser foot so that you can put the work the piece of leather in and then bring it down. Okay, now we're going to come down here and we're going to take a look at the close-up of this area. This control here, you can see what it does is it changes the angle of the feed roller underneath and this arm in the back controls the same way but it controls the height of the feed wheel. So you need to get the fine adjustment of the feed wheel right there so that the bell knife is just right up next to it and touching but not exactly so that you're grinding off any of the knife. So it's very very close. Now this knob you can undo and you can move this arm forward and back and that will control how deep the cut is when you skive. So that's where you control this is by moving 
this bar back and forth and when you get it where you want it you just tighten down the, the knob on the back okay so for example now what we're going to do is we have this all adjusted and we're trying to find the closest tolerance in what we call zero so now I load the work in here it's right up against there I'm going to step on it it's going to feed through you can see it's done a perfect sky okay now at the same time while we're here I'm going to show you that we can take this same piece of leather I'm just going to cut off a narrower strip and we can run it straight through and the machine will act like a splitter splitting it to a very thin piece taken off so it's made it half as thick now you can use it to make uh, leather to turn over the edges or for piping but you can see we've now reduced the thickness by about half from where it was so the fine tuning adjustments for the machine are right here in this area this knob on the back of the machine changes the angle of the presser foot and lifts it up and lowers it down here which controls the angle of the cut and that works very much in direct um, correlation with this piece on the top that controls the depth of the cut so we're going to change it here just a little bit and change the angle you can see that it barely took off any so now we can come up to the top and bring it down lower made a very narrow skive and a much thicker skive so it left a lot more material on the end to bring that down so it would take off more it's a combination of making this thing this foot lay flat and giving bringing it up you don't want this to be rubbing on the presser foot and the stone Now we're back to where we were. And for the wider, for splitting a wider piece of leather, you just run it through twice, once from each direction. And you now have a splitter. Okay. Go. Okay, now we're going to do uh, sharpening of the stone. Uh, against the bell knife and we're going to turn the machine on and with the knob on the front I'm going to bring the, the uh, sharpening stone right over next to the wheel and now you take this tool which comes in your kit and it has the uh, wooden handle with the little ceramic stone and you lay that on the inside of the bell knife which is good. this is going to remove the extra burr that's on the on the knife and you turn it on that removes the burr now there's another tool that comes with your machine which is this little star wheel and this is used for dressing or removing any um, extra bits or grits that, that are on the uh, pink sharpening stone that's under here which is um, the tool that uh, sharpens the, the bell knife so what you can do is if you end up with any grooves or any chips on the little pink sharpening stone you run this wheel against that wheel and it'll create some sparks but it'll clean it up and uh, it'll make it true and round again so it'll work it'll continue to work as a uh, sharpening stone